You have attuned to 90.3 KEXP Seattle. This is Wolf Pop, sounds, voices, and rhythms from around the globe. Hosting tonight for Derek Mazzoni, I'm DJ Rhythma. We are joined live this evening in studio from Agadez, Nigeria. Torg, songwriter, musician, actor, and filmmaker, Emdu Mokhtar. Emdu, welcome to Seattle. Thank, Thank you. you for bringing your voice and your passion and creativity uh, to the KXP community. My honor. May we hear some music? Absolutely.
Live in studio on KXP from Agadez, Niger, Emdu Mokhtar and his band. Wow, absolutely uh, hypnotic, sultry, smooth, um, funky. Uh, man, uh, amazing. Thank you so much for being here today. Um, to start off, uh, Emdu, can you introduce your band members for absolutely. us? Absolutely. Uh, my name is Emdu Mokhtar. Yeah. And uh, this is second musician, second guitar, Ahmadou Madassan. The drummer is Abu Bakar Mazawaje. And uh, 
the best it's uh, Michael Colton. It's a pleasure. It was it was fun hanging out prior to to the set, getting to know you guys a little bit better. So it's uh, always fun to to meet of to course. meet new people. Um, I want to start off uh, first talking about you and your your ability to learn the guitar uh, by yourself. So um, growing up uh, playing a, a homemade guitar, and then now. To where you are today with just amazing uh, ability and musicianship, you. your finger work. Uh, can you ex talk a little bit about as you grew up? Um, Absolutely. Uh, for beginning, it's really difficult for me because my family, it's uh, my family practice the religion. My family is, mu is Muslim, uh, is Muslim, sorry. <laughs> Sometimes I'm really mix uh, French and English. <laughs> yeah. And the uh, it's uh, very hard to play in, in the house, very practic the religion. That for beginning, it's very hard for me. And I am very young too. And it, it's not, uh, I don't got any possibility to guard the, the instrumental like guitar. It's really hard. And uh, I made my, in my hand. Yeah. What, did, what did you make it from? Mm, just do something very simple. Uh, and I don't know the name for planche in, in English. Planche is just, just uh, like a small box. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, like small box. Yeah. It's not the box exactly, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> you got me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah and uh, it's that. The string, it's the string for the cable for, for bicycle. I take the cable and uh, I got a little bit of string. That it's my idea. I, I, it's just amazing. I was able to do a little bit of background research and to understand like how how you did some of this, um, and I was very excited to to see you live in person today because your musicianship is is it, 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 it's amazing. So thank you. Um, uh, I'm, I'm glad that that kind of that those 20 years as you were uh, a kid till till now has has given you the opportunity to 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 build your skills and and this amazing band. Thank you. Um, so I want to transition a little bit. Um, Agadez is uh, is roughly 7,000 miles from Seattle. Wow. Um, it, the average temperature is 106 degrees Fahrenheit. Absolutely. Um, you, you you come from a city that was founded in the 14th century, and um, it's I think it's hard for a lot of people who have never been to a city of um, of that age, that culture, um, and also the environment. I mean, it's it's a fairly hostile environment in terms of the weather. Um, poverty is a, is a real issue. Corruption is an issue, but at the same time, this beautiful music is is made. Can, can you talk a little a bit about the, the Touareg music culture um, kind of today and then also kind of stepping back to as you were a kid? Um, how, does it, how does it manifest itself into a sound? Yeah, for beginning, just I want to say now uh, the guitar playing, it's like uh, the guitar now in Agadez, it's like uh, the football in, uh, in Brazil. You got me? Yes. It's like football in Brazil. It's the same noun. Because you want to see all the kids who need to play the guitar. Everybody, every young generation, all of them, I want to say, maybe, maybe something like, uh, just something like 10% is not the musician. All of them. And uh, I like the feeling because, you see, if, if, you, you, if you don't got the filter with you, with you you don't looking for the cold water because you don't know the cold water in the future. It's like that. We know just that temperature and uh, everybody is very happy because he don't know the place. He don't travel so much like uh, like me and uh, some musician like uh, yeah. And uh, yeah, I like the feeling because it's very different here. It's sometime we playing in the concert and in Agadez. It is sometime in the marriage, and it is very different culture. 
or you may be playing for a picnic or a, a, yeah, a picnic, small, small yeah, party. Yeah, absolutely. A picnic or we, if we want to drink the tea, which the free and together we play the, the music. That it's acoustic yeah. all times. You, you are the Neymar of guitar playing. Uh, if you're a fan of Br the Brazilian soccer player Neymar. So. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so, <laughs> Thank you. Um, so you're currently on a 30 city tour of the United States. So 30 cities in roughly, say, 40 days, um, which is kind of crazy you know, from, a, from a touring perspective. Uh, also awesome. Um, I was looking at the cities that you're, you were going through. You, you, you went through my, my hometown of Pittsburgh. Um, we talked a little bit about that, that show. Um, I had I had read an article that was talking about um, one of one of the possible goals for this tour is to to learn um, more about Western culture in order to communicate back to locals in Agadez and Niger about what it's like to be a musician outside of um, outside of Agadez, because you don't the, 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 your, your local culture won't experience all of this commercialization and um, touring and managers and buses and absolutely and promotion absolutely uh, yeah yeah i got you yeah we we, we make it one movie like documentary now on, with christopher kirkley uh, just uh, i want to show the people in all in united states and uh, africa so um, the culture it's different style you understand me the culture american culture and the uh, and the African culture because it's really, really different. That I need, and uh, it is very different. Just now, I got the habit sheet because I it's my it's not my first time in here. For time, I think, to for the movie and uh, to tour again. Yeah. And I I need to show him to show the people the communication for the musician in here together. And uh, not any competition with them, and uh, I know to show them how the music is very important in the United States, and uh, I need to show him how the life in in United States it's 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 not the same. You understand? It's not the same life. I know to show them something like that. Yeah. A lot of, and uh, I want to show him some different music. Got it. I, I was um, I was struck by the the goal of of the movie as as I read it and as you just explained, um, thinking about the Saharan cell phones uh, CD that was released. So this was back in roughly 2010, and at the time, music. Was being exchanged through cell phones and 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 little little uh, cell phone discs, and I was thinking in 2010, like the proliferation of music on the internet here in the United States and in Europe was music was everywhere. But the idea of just passing culture around from cell phones to cell phones as a mechanism to communicate, um, you know, only say seven eight years ago is, um, um, is is wild. But at the same time, um, that's that's what's happening with with the culture. So with that said, I'm, I'm excited for the movie. Um, Thank you. And for the people watching this, if you haven't gone and uh, watched uh, Rain, the Color of Blue with a little red in it, um, go watch it. Mm. Um, uh, last question. Uh, will we see a new album anytime soon? Yeah, my new album, Susan Tmashek. Yeah. Of course, uh, it's just the idea. It's uh, because I got a long time. I'm playing just me. I got a lot of uh, music what I play when I'm young. And uh, it's just acoustic music because the last time I don't got electric, I just play with acoustic. And uh, I got the idea to do in the album just me, like for beginning. And that that album is very kind of con conversational in, in nature, very very personal um so i was uh, absolutely it's very enjoyable yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's a very she, he, I, if i listen for that album i will remember for when i'm young and uh, yeah may we hear some more music absolutely thank you my honor <laughs>
مترهانين اكتو تطاوين ورقاش نين تاكيس تاكين تنفوسين متوان الصغل يسيد والداش كان ويا عطالة اتنين ضاكلو ترها
Mesmerizing. Thank you. <laughs> Live in studio here on KXP with Mdu Mokhtar and his band. Um, I hope you keep pushing the future of the Tuareg sound, um, the tempo, uh, your distortion, you. the, the fusion of rhythms, uh, some hip hop, some rai. I was, I was all <laughs> yeah, over the place there. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, keep Together. pushing, keep pushing, guys. Um, Mdu uh, Marasani. Uh, Bube, Michael, thank you so much for being here uh, with us today. We wish you safe travels and positive experiences for the rest of your tour. Um, and we look forward to the next album and hopefully another movie. Um, enjoy the rest of the time in the States. I'm DJ Rhythma. This is Wallpop. And you're listening to 90.3 KEXP Seattle. Discover new music at listenerpoweredkexp.org.